Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Quest today. So, we are now talking about the coronavirus. We already knew what the virus is itself. Que savons-nous déjà? Le coronavirus est composé d'ARN, il a une couverture composée de graisse et il peut infecter les humains et les animaux. Il peut être transmis à travers des gouttelettes et il peut survivre sur des surfaces. But now let's move to uh, the disease it can produce, the COVID-19. So, Elske, what do you think if, uh, for the sake of science, we infect ourselves to see how the, the disease goes and how it affects our bodies? Aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre des choses sur le COVID-19, qui est la maladie causée par le coronavirus. Nous allons nous faire infecter et voir ce qui va se passer. Okay. And wait and see. Let's wait and see. Okay. During the incubation time, the virus starts multiplying, but still there are no symptoms and you feel okay. Pendant la phase d'incubation, le virus commence à se reproduire, mais nous ne montrons aucun symptôme. During the prodromal, the first symptoms appear, that can be cough, a lack of smell, and fever. Les premiers symptômes apparaissent. Ils peuvent être de la toux, de la fièvre, ou un manque d'odorant. The disease reaches its peak and the patient feels very sick. La maladie s'aggrave et le patient se sent très malade. Finally, the symptoms go down and the person recovers. Les symptômes diminuent et la personne récupère. So, how did you feel? What? It was a strange couple of weeks. I didn't feel actually anything. Really? No, I, f I felt quite bad. Well, I didn't, I didn't develop any symptoms. I didn't have cough, I didn't have fever. Are you sure you got it? I mean, we scrapped the virus in our face. Yeah, I think we got it. Infected. And actually, there are some people that don't develop any symptoms while they are sick. Certain people don't develop any symptoms, like it's happened here with Rora. C'est dangereux parce que des personnes peuvent être malades sans le savoir et ainsi infecter d'autres personnes parce qu'ils n'appliquent pas les mesures de sécurité. Well, but I think we were still quite lucky. I mean, I felt bad, but mm -hmm. you know, there's people who have it much worse. Uh -huh. There are people that develop more severe symptoms than you did, for example. Yeah, yeah. Pourquoi certaines personnes développent-elles des symptômes graves? The immune system protects us from intruders. The response of the immune system causes inflammation in some cells. This inflammation can be dangerous if it affects too many cells, so it is important that the system finds a balance and is able to inflammate only the minimum amount of cells that it needs to get rid of the virus. In COVID-19, if the immune system overreacts, large areas of the lung can get inflammated, causing a pneumonia. These cases can get very serious and lead to severe consequences, including death. Notre système immunitaire nous protège, mais ses actions peuvent aussi endommager certaines cellules. S'il réagit de façon trop excessive et endommage trop de cellules, cela peut causer des problèmes graves. Dans le cas du Covid, une réaction excessive du système immunitaire peut endommager les poumons, conduire à une pneumonie ou à la mort. Wow, then actually the immune system of these people works too much? Yes, in, in the case of uh, Corona, actually this is what makes people most sick, your own immune system overreacting to it. So what happens is that, especially with people, for example older people, we know that they get it more than mm -hmm, younger like people. Younger. And this, this happens because some of the, the cells of their immune system, the ones that communicate to the other cells, they don't really have a lot of the communication cells. So basically, the immune system just goes wild and there's not a lot of communication and therefore it overreacts, it does too much. Qu'avons-nous appris aujourd'hui Le Covid-19 est la maladie causée par le coronavirus. Ses symptômes les plus communs sont la toux, la fièvre, les difficultés respiratoires et l'absence d'odorat. Certaines personnes ne développent aucun symptôme. Cela peut être dangereux si notre système immunitaire réagit de façon excessive. Alright, so I hope you learned a lot today again. And we hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.